Joining me right now is the director of the White House National Economic Council, Gary Cohn. Gary, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks so much for having me, Maria. Let's talk about the most important parts of the plan that, that you and your colleagues announced earlier in the week. And we know that that corporate tax rate is 15% is what you'd like to see. And a proposal to make pass-through companies and small owned and operated businesses also see a 15% tax rate. Is that the most compelling part of the plan in your view? Look, Maria, we've had a great week um, rolling out our tax plan. We think all aspects of the tax plan are important. The corporate tax piece is important, the business tax piece is important, and the personal income side is equally as important. We are trying to drive the economy. We're trying to drive growth. We're trying to drive more income back in American consumers' pockets. We want to take Washington out of the equation. We want people to keep more of their hard-earned income. So, yes, the, the, the business side is important, but the personal side is equally as important. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. So the personal side, let's talk about that for a second, because you want to you uh, collapse the, uh, the number of uh, brackets to three brackets, down from seven, make it real easy to deal with and very transparent. Walk us through that and why you think that's going to to help individuals out there? Well, Maria, we almost look at it as four brackets. You know, we've got seven brackets in the tax code right now, which makes it very difficult. We also want to simplify the tax code as well, and I'll talk about that as well. But going to, to the three brackets, the 10% the bracket, the 25% bracket, and the 35% bracket, makes it simple, makes it easier for people to do their own taxes. But remember, we took the standard deduction and we doubled it. So if you take a, a, a median income family in America today, they earn between fifty-five and fifty-six thousand dollars. We're giving them a standard deduction of twenty-four thousand dollars, meaning that they'll have taxable income of about thirty-two thousand dollars. They will have an effective tax rate in the mid single digits if they have a couple of children if they get a, t a child tax credit they could end up having an effective tax rate of about zero we think that is very very important for low and middle income families we're going to put money back in their pockets they're going to be able to use that money to improve their quality of life to improve their house to to make improvements buy a new car or just take care of their family the way they want to take care of their family that's very important we're going to simplify the return by increasing the standardized deduction, vast, vastly fewer people are going to itemize. So we're going to have a very simple tax system. As I said the other day, we want to go back to that simple one-page tax return where people can do it themselves at their kitchen table. Yeah, so you, you think that this is going to sort of dictate behavior. Look, if you're keeping more of your own money, you're probably going to put that money back into the economy is the idea, right? So what, what do you see in terms of the behavior of individuals and companies when they do get these much more attractive tax uh, tax rates because we know that growth is nowhere right now. We're rating on the GDP, by the way. It's going to be 1%. Yes. You think you can get growth up pretty significantly with these numbers? Maria, absolutely. The president's agenda and his number one ob objective is to grow the economy and create a better job environment. And so if you look at the, the business tax rate, and go into a 15% tax rate. What's the number one thing that we're going to do? We're going to make America competitive for businesses. We're going to want businesses to open their operations here in America. We're going to be competitive against all of the other OECD countries. Remember, OECD average tax rate for, for businesses is 23%. We'll be 8% below the OECD average. If you're a business today deciding where you want to domicile, the United States is going to look very attractive. If you're looking to build a new manufacturing facility, you're looking to hire an incremental worker, you know, the tax rate does come into that decision. By coming to the United States, the incremental worker is getting cheaper. You'll hire the worker You'll put them to work in the United States. They will earn more money. They will have more money in their pocket. They'll spend more money. All of this is very good to drive the economy. This all adds up to more and more economic growth, which is the president's number one objective in the economy. So let me ask you about paying for it, because obviously that's where the criticism and the pushback has come. You know, the left and some, some budget hawks are saying you can't get to 3 and 4 percent growth just by lower taxes. You have to pay for it somehow. We know there's no border adjustment tax proposal in here. Are you looking for anywhere uh, for a revenue raise somewhere in these economic policies to make this not necessarily, uh, you know, tax neutral, but deficit neutral? So, so, Maria, I think people are missing two big components of what we're talking about. Number one, I've just been talking about all the growth that we think we can stimulate by having a lower business tax rate. 
15% tax rate we think is going to bring a lot of business back to this country. We also think by lowering the personal rates, we're going to put more money back in people's pockets. They're going to spend it to improve their house, buy new cars. All of that is stimulative to the economy. It's going to continue to grow the economy. As we take the growth rate up, we're going to widen the economic base. Number two, and I think people are, are, are not quite understanding this, we talked and we've talked quite vociferously about getting rid of many of the deductions. Deductions on the corporate side and deductions on the personal side. When you get rid of those deductions, you are eff effectively applying the tax rate to a much broader base. So the base is going to widen very substantially because we're going to get rid of the deductions.